Ah, oh, Nirvana. Hey, guys. Hey, Amber, Annie, Bill, Johnny. No, I don't plan to buy anything here. I buy my burger ingredients at Food and Stuff, a discount food outlet equidistant from my home and my work. I came here for the same reason people go to the zoo. Shh, look at that thing. Nature is amazing. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. Another, please. S sir, is there a problem? I'm just making sure no one ever has to eat this. I, I don't think I can give you any more. I want one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age-old question. Right. What's Amy's deal? Is she single? No. We're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin! What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh! <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I can hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. <laughs> I know it! So while they repaint the lines in the parking lot, we're asking everyone to do street parking. I'm not street parking my Mercedes. Well, everyone is. I'm doing it. Because nobody wants to steal a Saturn. All right, uh, moving on to recycling. <sighs> you OK, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. OK, each department will be getting blue bins. <sighs> Do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Just a second. Hey! Oh, no, no. No, 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 God. I'm sorry, everybody. What were we talking about? Recycling? Dentist pulled the tooth out yesterday. But it's always a good idea to demonstrate to your coworkers that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of pain. Plus, it's always fun to see Tom faint. <laughs> Whoa, what's with the cast? I sprained my wrist. Oh, no, what happened? Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Yeah, geez, Amy, back off. Leave the guy alone. All right, huddle up, everybody. Bring it in, bring it in. So he wouldn't say what happened, which can only mean one thing. He's in a fight club. No, he did it doing something he's embarrassed by, like smiling. Only question is, how do you hurt your arm smiling? Could be a sports injury. I sprained my wrist in college playing field hockey. Men's field hockey? Yeah, it's much more violent than the women's game. We're not allowed to wear anything that protects our breasts. Attention, everyone. I can hear you speculating about the nature and origin of my injury from my office. I tripped over an uneven sidewalk. I did not think it was relevant to your jobs, the jobs which you should all be doing right now. Get to work. Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. You sick son of a bitch. Ah! It is rough in here. Is it always like this? I wouldn't know. Don't like strip clubs. It smells like a wet mop in here. And I get the feeling that every one of these women is running a low grade fever. You're one of the good ones, Ron. Wait a minute. Hello, beautiful. Strippers do nothing for me. I like a strong, salt-of-the-earth, self-possessed woman at the top of her field. Your Steffi Graffs, your Cheryl Swoopses. But I will take a free breakfast buffet anytime, anyplace. I'm tired of politics. Let's get that punk, Bloodsoe. 
This is amazing. Of course, we have no idea where he is, but I love where your head's at. He has no family. Maybe there was a girlfriend or someone he worked with at the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Why would someone who knows they have $21 million coming take a minimum wage job? Because he needed access to that building. Because that's where the money's hidden. All right, we gotta get there quick. Maybe we should take the chopper. Oh, here's that chopper. Death Blade, Sidewinder, it's go time. Roger that, wet blanket. No, from now on, call me Velvet Thunder. Okay. I got a second box of donuts, if anybody. What the is this? This, Mr. Director, is your new desk. Okay. This desk is the epitome of the Swedish concept of jämställdakt, or equality. Imagine someone needs your attention. Somebody say my name. Chris. Swivel! What is it, Jerry? You told me to say your name. And you did a great job, superstar. Someone else say something. You look like a freak. Swivel! April, that is not a very good attitude. I will keep my eye on you. From my circular desk where I can see everything. Tiny swivel! See how it works? What about my office and its many walls? That becomes a new public waiting room. And we got rid of that giant pillar that was in front of your door. I loved that pillar. It made it really annoying to stand in my doorway. <laughs> well, get over it, because it's gone. You're gonna be more accessible than ever. Hey, bro, do you have that usage report that I asked for? Anything for you, Jerry? Thank you. Oh, come on. Why? Excuse me. There's a sign at Rampsit Park that says, do not drink the sprinkler water. So I made some tea with it, and now I have an infection. Sir? Sir, are, 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 are you listening to me, sir? Sir, I'm talking to you. Sir, sir, are you aware that there is waste in your water system? Oh, I don't know what's going on down at police headquarters, and no one will tell me anything. So you're saying that not knowing what your bosses are up to is driving you a little crazy. You've used my logic against me. Well played, Timmy. Well played. Thank you, sir. Look at that. You helped me find my smile. My name is Ron Swanson. I'm here to tell you about a black tie gala fundraiser for Pawnee Commons happening tonight. All proceeds will go toward building a park. It will be enjoyable. Now I will take your calls, apparently. Yes. Hey, Joan, settle a bet for me. Who's the sexiest couple in history? Our Pats and Case Stew or Bieber? Shouldn't you be taking her to lie down somewhere? Oh, no. If she ever found out that we took her off camera, we'd all be fired. So just uh, keep taking phone calls. You're doing great. Three, two. Hello again. I'm Ron Swanson, and I am still taking your calls, hopefully about tonight's gala. You're on the air. Hi, uh, what's wrong with Joan? She has a bad hangover, which she is pretending is allergies. Is she gonna be okay? Wouldn't know, never been hung over. After I've had too much whiskey, I cook myself a large flank steak, pan fried and salted butter. I eat that, put on a pair of wet socks and go to sleep. That works? It does. Please call now if you have questions about tonight's gala or one of my other interests, woodworking, uh, novels about tall ships, meat, that sort of thing. This is Ron. Go ahead, caller. Hi, my Yorkshire Terrier has chewed up the legs on my kitchen table. Is there a cheap way to repair that? Great question. Take a walnut and rub it into the legs of your table. That'll mask the scratches. Next thing you want to do is ditch the terrier and get yourself a proper dog. Any dog under 50 pounds is a cat, and cats are pointless. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. Mm. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Why did you do that? Dude was pent up. Now he knows. Problem solved. <laughs>